add a cube, subdivide it, shift all that, make it spherical, set the dimensions to 2, and apply the scale. Add a ground material. Add an image texture, cube map it. This is just going to be of any terrain you found online. Make sure it's a bit high res. Set blend to be a bit up. Add a color ramp, set the interpolation type to constant. Crush it down so you just isolate the water. Duplicate your principle and set one to have low roughness, high metallic, and specular. One to be very rough with little specular or metallic. Plug those into the shaders of a mix shader and set the color ramp into the factor. Add a vector and bump. Mess around with it. Use the output of the image texture you used. And I think that looks pretty cool. So that's your ground plane done. Duplicate the sphere and the material, delete everything, and then make a sphere mask with the vector math length node. Subtract 1 to center the value 0 around the radius 1 and divide by a value. That value will be your atmosphere's thickness. Plug it in the multiply node and then a power node with the 0.5 to be the base and the exponent to be the output of the multiply. Plug the value into the displace and make sure the scale is set to 1 and mid-level at 0. Mess around with multiply nodes until you get something you want. And plug the output of that last multiply node into the volume scatter density node. Set the volume scatter to be color blue. Make sure you have a low volume step. Alright, we're doing some clouds. So, add a sphere. What you're going to want to do is you want to set the displacement to true displacement in the materials tab. Uh, under that you can find volume, set the step rate to 0.1, make sure you have already low step rates for your volume. Make a sphere mask and make the with the length known. And make the value of zero be around the um, yeah, make the value of zero be around one. Make sure you don't get any negative values, so that's why there's a minimum. Now add a value node, that's the that's going to be the width, the thickness of your clouds. You're going to plug that into a divide node and a displacement node. So you're going to grab your texture, mapping nodes unnecessary. I have a 40k cloud texture I'll put in the description. It's a beauty, look at that detail. So minimum node. They subtract nodes, so we're going to subtract the mask from the texture so that the bottom value or the lower values don't reach as far into the atmosphere. Uh, plug it into volume scatter node, and you're basically done. First lazy tutorial, guys. This is fun. wasn't too hard either. About an hour of editing. Check my Discord. Bye.